This Boost Your BIM video shows how the Revit API can be used to create a family placement command using two clicks to specify the location and orientation of instances, similar to the rotate on placement command in the Revit user interface. The command works as follows. Click once to place the instance, then click a second time to specify its orientation. Create the instance, specify its orientation. Then hit the escape key when finished. The command works as follows. We start by finding the family symbol for the North Arrow 2 family. Then create a transaction group so that all transactions for the creation and rotation of these instances will be combined into a single undo menu entry. This is seen by looking at the undo list and that a single entry was created for all instances. We then create an infinite loop, prompt the user to select a point for the creation of the instance, create the family instance, pick a point to specify the orientation of the instance, and then create a line between these two points. Compute the angle between this line and the vertical direction. However, this angle will always return the smaller angle between the two lines. For example, in this case, the angle returned would be approximately 10 degrees instead of the 350 degrees of rotation that would be needed. Therefore, we find the case where the orientation point is to the left of the pick point that was used to create the element, and in this case, subtract the angle from 2 pi. 2 pi because Revit measures angles in radians, not degrees. Then create a line coming vertically out of the screen for the axis of rotation. Rotate the element. We use this catch block to catch the exception that will be thrown if the user hits the escape key when prompted to select a point. The break command exits out of the while loop. And finally, the assimilate command will wrap up the transaction group and consolidate all transactions into one. To learn more about the Revit API and how it can help make Revit better, visit boostyourbim.wordpress.com.